Talaman. Talaman means a type of palm tree. You can see there's one growing over here. Maybe two, I can't see. Two is over here, right? You can't see from here. And I saw a new one is coming outside. But this used to be a whole forest of palm trees. It's a type of palm tree, but not like the date palm, it's like a fan palm, you see? Like a fan type of palm. And in the rainy season, so many fruits come. They're on a big stem and all around like this. They look very deep purple like a, or violet actually, like a eggplant. Like a barrel shaped eggplant. And then gradually as the season goes on, they turn bright orange with little purplish, little violet uh, highlights. And they're very, inside is very orange and sweet, just like mango. Better than that. But very stringy, so the best thing to do is make juice. One year Kartik was early, we came here. <coughs> and there was still a couple of tall fruits left from the rainy season. That time there was a nice Baba named Priyasaran Baba. <coughs> so he sent one of his disciples up. And they cut up the tall fruit and made juice. And all the devotees were dumping out their bish lahari and filling it up with tall juice. And everybody got to taste tall juice. So there used to be a whole forest of tall trees here. <clears throat> now I just said it comes in the rainy season. So all summer long we'll see the wind will blow from the west from the Rajasthan desert we call the loon very hot dry wind as soon as rainy season approaches cool wind begins to blow from the east so I speculated that the Kahar boys must have been on the western side of Taliban because they smelled the tall fruits so the wind must have been coming from the east for them to smell mm -hmm. And now we have the Sarata Darsani Tika, Viswanath Chakravarti Thakur. And there Viswanath Chakravarti Thakur describes that the Kaur employees were playing on the western side of Taliban. In the rainy season, the wind blows from the east, so they were all smelling the tall fruits. And Brishpasi boys, 24 hours a day, they're hungry. <laughs> Just like you see 24 hours a day they're greedy for money, 20 hours a day they're greedy for food. <laughs> so they began to smell these wonderful tal fruits. And they told Krishna, oh we're so hungry and the nice smell of tal fruit is coming. But there's a big demon named Denukasura. And all his ass-like friends, they're taking care of this forest and they don't allow anybody to take fruit. So Krishna, he looked at Balaram. Because Krishna can't do this. There's a reason. This Denukasura, in his previous life, he was a descendant of Prahlad Maharaj named Sahasik. And it's not in Bhagavatam, but it must be one of the Puranas, one of the benedictions that Prahlad Maharaj asked for Shingadev was that he would not kill anybody in his line. So Krishna can't take care of this demon, only Baladev can take care of it. So he looked at Balaram. What Sahasik did was one time there was a beautiful Apsara named Tilotama, <coughs> and he went to the garden of the demigods, Nanda and Kanan, and he was enjoying with Tilotama. Somehow Durvas Rishi, he's always everywhere. He was there, this disturbed his meditation while they're laughing and joking. So he cursed Sahasik, you're acting just like an ass, so you become an ass. And he fell at Durasrishi's feet, he said, when Lord Baladev comes, he will liberate you from this form of liberty from this material world. 
So anyway, Dainukasura, he became an associate of Kamsa. Kamsa was the biggest demon, so he subjugated all the little demons. So he used to take care of this tall forest and send all the fruits to Mathura to King Kamsa. And whatever was left, then he and his ass like friends would enjoy. But they never let Vaishnava or any Brishvasi ever taste these fruits. So Krishna winked at Baladev. So Baladev understood the situation, so he came inside. He grabbed that tall tree and he began to shake it like this. Now this tall tree is not very tall. <laughs> he's a tall tree, but he's not tall. <laughs> I can't even move it a micromillimeter. <laughs> and it was a big tall, tall tree, and Lord Baladev, he just shook it like that. And all the tall fruits began to fall down. Thuk, 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 thuk. So you've seen donkeys, they have big ears. So Denukasuri heard all this noise. Mm. Who's invaded by tall garden? Mm. So he came there and he saw this beautiful Baladev shaking down all the tall fruits. And first thing he did wrong, before a respectable person, we should never turn our back. He turned his back to Baladev. Then with his hind legs, because that's what asses do, he began to kick on his chest. Now Baladev's chest is soft as a rose, but it's hard as a thunderbolt. He felt it like devotees were throwing roses on his chest. Hmm? Huh? But he immediately grabbed that demon by his hind legs and he swung him around and around and around and just by the centrifugal force his life air left his body. And he threw that into a tall tree. That tall tree fell over, hit another one, that one hit another one, and bap, 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 like a bunch of dominoes. Huge line of tall trees fell down in the forest. So then all the other ass-like friends of Dinukasura, they came running. And they were encouraging each other with their poetry. As Prabhupada said, the ass thinks his poetry is very nice. So now Krishna rolled up his sleeve. Now he now Dinukasura is done. He couldn't take care of him. Now he can take care of the rest of these demons. So they began throwing all the demons up in the trees, and some of them are light, light colored, some of them are dark colored, all different colors, look like all different colored clouds in the trees. And it was, and Mr. Chakravarti Thakur explains that day it was a big bloody mess, so they didn't take any tall fruits. But this is rainy season, so after a few days, the rain washed everything away. Who took the fruits was the Pulindas. All the tribal people were living in the and they don't care about so much cleanliness, so they took all those dirty tall fruits. But later, after the rain washed everything, then the coward boys would come every day and enjoy tall fruits here in Taliban. And suddenly King Kams found that his, his supply of tall fruits was cut off. And he became very angry. Another reason that Baladev gets, takes care of him, as we heard, Baladev's duty is to Kill our anarchs, his other duty is, is to kill our ignorance. We say every day, Om Agyana Timaranasya. Agyan means ignorance. We want the spiritual master uh, uh, to open our eyes. Prabhupada says, with the torchlight. We translate it very sweetly. Torchlight of knowledge. So, Venukasura, he, he represents the ass-like mentality uh, to enjoy this material world. Just like you go to America, their slogan is, work hard and enjoy hard. It's like you see the ass, he's working very hard, and then he also tries to enjoy very hard. He's such a fool, he's carrying big loads all day long. We read about these things in Prabhupada's books, but we can come to Braj. And sometimes in Prikama you'll see the ass going on with a bunch of bricks, with a bunch of sand, with a huge monster pile of laundry. It's not even a load for himself, it's for somebody else's load he's carrying. Mm -hmm. And he's walking all day between the grass, on each side of the road grass is growing. End of the day he carries all these heavy loads and the master gives him a little bit of 
dress. And he thinks he's enjoying it. Everywhere he was walking, grass was growing. But he thinks, unless I work hard, uh, how can I enjoy grass? Just like some merchants were going through the forest, and some thieves descended upon them. So the merchants, out of fear of their life, immediately gave all their merchandise to those thieves. Then the thieves began to slap them up like anything. He said, we gave you everything, why are you slapping us? Are, without working, how are we going to eat? <laughs> 